My surroundings are core to my creative process. I'm incredibly passionate uh, about our, our environment and it's both a cathartic and therapeutic uh, part of my process. It's a paramount dynamic in my life. A lot of my work is figurative and the reason I work with the figure specifically is because of how much it communicates. I normally start with a concept or an idea that I have in mind based on feeling, then um, develop the reference for that, which normally involves a photographic shoots. My process is both spontaneous and calculated, methodical, technical, and sometimes quite random. But it almost always starts with a, an idea. What triggers an idea for me, the, the, the inspiration behind a lot of my work, I'm fascinated with body language and like dance, which is so communicative, uh, I find the same in art. I find that using human form is a means to communicate that. And what inspires me mostly is that given how inundated we are with the pervasive information and we live in a world where there's so much dichotomy and so much contradiction i think it's very important to to draw out the beauty and to remind people of it um, and and that i find in in the nuances and the subtleties of our connection to and with one another I see stories and details and unspoken truths and so much. Given the fact that I'm actually a portrait artist and it's been said that it's my forte, I'm drawn to faces and I see all the subtle details and the history that that face carries and the stories it can tell. What my works communicate short and sweet is the middle ground uh, that exists between us as people. Um, it's not uh, specifically gender-based, it's not masculine or feminine, it's, it's not positive or negative, it's all of those things. It's the balance. <laughs>